everyone you're welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to automate the installation of jenkins on ubuntu in the previous video i was able to demonstrate jenkins cicd how to install jenkins and you know configure it using amazon linux but today i want us to automate the process because i believe in saving your time and saving my time as well and helping you to be more productive i've been making use of ubuntu in aws and how we can actually automate the installation is by using a user data so in aws basically in ec2 a user data refers to a feature that can allow you to run um, scripts or command when you launch a new ec2 instance okay so we use user data to automate various setup and configuration tasks during instance initialization so uh, we're gonna be launching a new instance so i'll click on launch instance type jenkins uh, automate I can just add automate and we're making use of Ubuntu so we'll be making use of Ubuntu 22.04 right and scrolling down we'll be making use of T2 medium here I'm gonna be selecting T2 medium okay um please don't use T2 micro you know because c2 micro is actually very small to run a jenkins server you don't want to be using that and it will be crashing so i'm going to select it to medium also feel free to use a higher instance type depending on the purpose of your uh, the purpose why you're creating this um jenkins server right so if i scroll down here i want to select a key pair that i have already if you don't have a key pair you can go ahead to create a new key pair over here so scrolling down i'm gonna select edit under network settings so that we can add a new security group so i'm um, i'm using default vpc that is fine if you have a custom vpc feel free to select that here so uh let's create a new security group for this so jenkins automate sg copy that and use that as description okay so if i scroll down we have ssh uh, inbound rule traffic already here so let's add i'm gonna click on add a new security rule so let's add um http okay and the source from anywhere also i'll click on add security group again and let's add port 8080 which is the the port that jenkins server runs on so um this source should be from anywhere and security conscious here all right you need to select the right source for instance over here um as we are accessing from anywhere okay the source is from anywhere so if this is production you need to limit it to your ip address or a particular ip address you want to connect remotely with all right so you don't make your server vulnerable but we are not really doing anything serious with this i'm just basically showing you around how to do this so yeah so if i scroll down this is advanced advanced details i'm gonna expand this and i'll scroll down to where we have user data this is user data feature okay if you have a user data that you've saved already in a file you can actually um you can actually select choose a file and then upload it here but i'm gonna copy from where this user data is stored and then paste it so i have this in my github i have the user data in my repository here in github so i'm just gonna click on that and i'm gonna be dropping the link in the description below as well so i just want to copy this whole stuff this script and then go back So I'm going to be explaining this script and what it can help us achieve. So to start with, we have a uh, shebang here. Shebang is usually used when you're when you're trying to like run a script using bash. Okay, so it can help us to interpret and execute our script using bash. 
all right is is usually available in most linux based cloud instances so that is why we are using it here and coming here we want to basically um update the package manager and then install open jdk and maven so over here I want to update the package manager this line is to install open jdk okay you know jenkins is actually written in java and runs on java virtual machines okay so open jdk provides the necessary java uh, java runtime environment for jenkins to execute so installing open jdk will basically ensure that you know our system has the java component required to run jenkins effectively and over here we want to install maven maven is actually a build automation tool that is often used in conjunction with jenkins okay and you know installing java will allow jenkins to to leverage it for building and managing project uh, project dependencies and coming here we want to add jenkins repository or the repository key to authenticate the packages that is the essence of this command over here and it can be found in jenkins in um jenkins documentation so this is jenkins documentation for installing jenkins so um today is actually the 15th of september 2023 okay so i don't know the dates you're gonna be watching this video but please here in case you use my user script uh, the user data script I'm going to be dropping and it doesn't work for you. You can actually come here and use the latest um, the latest command for the repository key, right? Use this stuff here, the latest one. Just replace it with the one I have in the user data and that will work for you. So coming over here, this command we have will help to add the Jenkins repository source to the list of package sources all right so after that adding that the next command here is to now update our um is now to update again okay so we need to update the package information to in order to include jenkins packages from the newly added repository all right so after the update we now um install jenkins so this is the command to install jenkins and after installing jenkins we have to enable jenkins okay so we have to enable jenkins as a service in order to start automatically upon system boot and after that this is where we can now start jenkins so this command will help us to start jenkins so that is all that is actually all about this user data so let's go ahead and launch our instance and during the instance launch the script here will be executed and the uh, and our jenkins will be installed automatically so let's launch this instance i'll click on launch instance okay i'll scroll down and click on view all instances okay so this is it so this will actually is still in the pending stage so after about two minutes or thereabout, um, I, I believe the installation and the execution of this script um, should be ready. So let's copy the public IP address. And I'm gonna go to the browser. Let's verify the installation. Okay, so let's open that on this port and I'll press enter great and this is jenkins configuration page meaning the installation was successful now um the next step is actually to copy this because we need an admin password in order to proceed so i'll copy this and uh, before copying this actually we need to ssh into our server in order to um to get the admin password so copying the public IP address, let's connect with our SSH client. So use SSH client of your choice. I'm going to be pasting this IP address. Yes. And we are now connected to our Ubuntu server. Okay. So now if you want to also confirm Jenkins installation from here, you can do sudo system ctl status jenkins you can see jenkins is active i'm gonna press q in order to be um 
open the terminal okay so now let me clear this now i'm going to be copying this so that we get the admin password so to copy that i'll run sudo cat and then paste it here and press enter so this is the password we can use to set up or configure the jenkins server so going back i'm gonna paste the password here and click on continue and here let's set it up so to customize jenkins we need to install some we need to install plugins okay so you know plugins helps to extend the functionalities of jenkins you know it helps to extend the features and functionalities of jenkins so i'll, I'll click on install suggested plugins and this bunch of plugins will start installing so let's give it a moment and this is where we can actually set up the admin user so to set it up i can just use any um can just use admin user as the username and then for the password all right uh for the full name use tech retelling and for the email address i use abc at gmail.com and then i'll click on save and continue okay so this is the jenkins url and in case you want to use a domain name for this you can actually go ahead you can also use um a certificate in order to make your url you know your server more secured because here we are just using http all right so we can just proceed i'll say save and finish and jenkins is ready start using jenkins awesome so this is actually much easier to set up than installing those commands like manually okay so this is jenkins dashboard and right now you can go ahead to uh, start installing plugins start you know to configure your pipeline and all that depending on what you want to use this for so here comes the end of this video kindly give me a like if you enjoy watching this video subscribe if you are yet to do so also remember to click on the notification bell that way you get notifications each time i publish a new video it's in the comment section and let me know if you want a full jenkins tutorial or maybe like project in cicd just comment and let me know your thoughts because i really want to be publishing what you guys want to watch thank you and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye